up guys, Sergio for Missing Wild Fishing. We're here in Monterey Bay. We're getting ready to launch. Hopefully get some salmon. I'll keep the introduction short just so we can get out there, but my buddy's out there in the Seahawk. We're in the Rima. We got our outrigger ready. So we're about to get ready to go. My brother's on the boat, friend Luis. So let's get out of here. I don't know. Can you get out, Jim? Maybe we can go to I got the pole just in case. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> How's the steering? Smooth? Stretch your legs. <laughs> and now we already got bank fishermen trying to get their salmon. We got some kayakers out there. Seal always accompanying us. See yeah. how it goes. Sea otters. Weather looks pretty good, it's nice and overcast. Looks like the sun's gonna break any moment. But we're doing all right. What's up guys, we're here in Long We're about to get here to the fishing spot. We just spotted some whales. Hopefully we can get some footage of them. There you go, there they are. See whales, that's a good sign. That means there's fish around, so hopefully we'll have a good day. This is my buddy in the Seahawk. He's the one that's gonna put us on the fish, hopefully. Looks like we're already there. There's a looks like it's a family. Andre, <laughs> Hey, amigo, agárralo ya, amigo. Sí, ¿Está grande? Está chiquito el pescadillo. Dime, mi que no puedas poner. Amigo. Ya, ya, ahí. Ahí está, ahí está. ¿Está chiquito? No, levántalo, amigo, levántalo ahí. Está bueno, amigo. Mira nomás. Está grande. Está grande, pero agárralo. Ah, ahí está, amigo. Ya está bueno ese. All right, guys, so at the end of this day, we ended up with uh, one fish uh, in the box. Uh, it was about 25 and a half inches right here. We're just kind of cruising back in, going back to the harbor and um, kind of putting the boat back in the car. And uh, basically calling it a day wasn't that good of a day I mean we only got one in the box and um, yeah so this was the end of the first day in Monterey and then in the next clip you'll see how we're heading out again trying to go for the rematch on day two this time 
uh, launching off of Half Moon Bay and uh, you'll see how it goes. Here we're back for the rematch. We're launching out of uh, Half Moon Bay this time. And uh, right now we're just heading out, trying to look for the fish. And we're just trying to enjoy ourselves and have some fun this time. I mean, it's always fun fishing for salmon, but it's even better when you catch fish. So um, you'll see here uh, how we did. Yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video. Man. Fish on, baby. Fish on on the turn. Looks like they got the turn. Oh. Have you ever had something done?
I did it and I forgot to press record. But we were right there. We were getting ready to go home. We were tired. Got a little choppy. And right before we were thinking about calling it a day, fish on. And I was so excited and we were just, the adrenaline was in and I forgot to press play. But we hooked it, we reeled it. My brother netted it. We measured it, it was 23 and a half. All we need is 20 inches right here in Abu Bay. So, we got our fourth. We're heading back in, man. We'll see you guys on on the other one. Maybe we'll see, uh, we'll do a catching. We'll do a cook on this one. Maybe uh, smoke it, maybe do some smoked salmon jerky. We'll see. Thanks, we'll see you over there. Right here, you'll see me use this uh, 
they call it a horse comb or a curry comb. And you can see uh, this is one of the best tools I've used for scaling a fish. And you see it just it just does real quick work of the scales. You kind of just rub it along the whole body and it just uh, takes care of those scales really, really fast. So I really enjoy using this. They have them on Amazon and uh, they're not too expensive either. They're like maybe 10 bucks I think but they work really well when you scale a fish and if you want to fry them whole they always they, they work pretty good